But first, Lee, Lee's McCray has made the trip down from Banner Elk, North Carolina for this Conference Carolinas matchup against the North Greenville University Crusaders. Still in North Greenville, Carpenter's back with it. And they'll go down the middle, shot stopped again off the stick of Castle, and now he lets one by as Chris Carpenter with the rebound goal. That one will count, and North Greenville goes up 1-0. Bledsoe tacks the left, tries a shot, and defender Felice McCray caught a piece of that one looking for number five, Luke Strong. Back in for North Greenville, shot over the head of the goalie and in, number 35, Corey Long. And Long fooled everyone on that Bobcat squad, thought he was going to pass out, just rotated back around himself, fired past the goalie. Quick 2-0 lead for North Greenville. Well, now North Greenville slips on the field, right into the stick of a, of a Bobcat streaking down the field. Now they've got Dixon one-on-one, -on -one, and a goal scored for Jonathan Berry. And that's exactly what the Bobcats have got to do to stay in this game. Force, cause some turnovers, and run on transition. And now deficit back to one. Set up top with Zambato, Austin Zambato. Now here's Carpenter with an over the shoulder shot. Who gets it to go? Second of the day. Well, reason why we picked him out for the player to watch today for NGU. Gray Lees McCray just showing some extreme patience here. That patience is going to run out eventually as the Bobcats looking for the shot here. Flag out. Goal is scored. But will it count? From Melander. And if it looks like it will stand, so Alec Molander gets his first of the day. Closely guarded by number 99, Tristan Hashimi. Gets it away, looks, Sheely looks for the shot and he gets it. Had one man to beat and caught Castle off his back foot. Fired back to the weak side. First goal of the day for number 28. Warren has it, it's a screen set. And Warren goes for the low side shot and scores. If you're, not having any, if you're not having any success from up top, why not try down low? I didn't I, I didn't think he was going to pull the trigger on it. I thought he was going to give it away, but Drew Warren seeing the open look, putting North Greenville up 6-2. The final minute of the second quarter. Looking over to the left side, pick up Tanner Jones, and Tanner Jones flings it and scores it. And Jones making up for the penalty Drew drawn on him. To give North Greenville that man up opportunity, North Greenville not being able to convert right off his penalty, finds the low end of the net. And it looks like Jones is just going to hold it. And he won't even pass, and that will take us to half. So North Greenville will start off the third quarter at a disadvantage, down a man, 51 seconds left on the penalty against Zach Randolph. But here at halftime, North Greenville leading 6-3 over Lees McCray. Chris Carpenter has been the offense today for North Greenville. Three of his team's six goals. And for Lees McCray, had three different players score a goal. Looking for number four. Here comes a shot, and it's in for Tanner Jones. And he will be the first multi-goal scorer today for, for Lees McCray. That'll be his second. Sheely backs up to midfield, now makes a break for it. Around the right side, looks behind the goal. Picks up Wessels, now Carpenter. Carpenter looking for some Jack, now he fires it out to Warren. Drew Warren fires over the right side, underneath cut, goal scored for Ethan Landreth. Goal scored from Ethan Landreth, that's his first of the day. and 18th on the season. Looking for a quick goal here, and he scores. That is Logan Bryant off the face-off win, takes it himself, and, and scores. And Bryant just saw the opportunity. The, the water's parted. Had an easy one-on-one -on -one lane right to the goalie. Bounced it right under Castle, and that's another goal for North Greenville to double up Lee's McRae. Luke Strong stepping in the passing lane. North Greenville not done yet. Here comes Somjack, and he Got does it. get it. 
And North Greenville had one opportunity, another rebound, skips wide. And then Wessels comes in, no holds board, right off from the inbound. Five. Around the right side, Wessels looking down the middle, Bledsoe off the post and in. Let's take him any way you can get him. Yeah, that one's going to count. Yeah, well, Corey Long will bring it back in. 30 seconds to go. Over to Wessels. Now looking inside. Goal scored there. And that is number 38, Dylan Lloyd. Freshman from Hershey, Pennsylvania. And Lee's McRae was well aware that's where that play was going to go, yelling 38, 38, look for 38 before that ever came up. But it's all moot. North Greenville scoring right there on that one to go up 12-5. Wessels with a stutter step to the right, flips it left, goal scored. Number 47, Matt Miller. Miller just sneaking that one around. Less than five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. North Greenville right back on the attack. Tyler Holland up to Sheely, and now to the right. Pick up some help from Zambato. And Zambato, Zambato scores. He's firing it from the top of the key and through several Lee's McRae Bobcats. He finds the upper 90. Hashimi over to Tanner Jones. Jones squeezes by Burroughs. And now past three more defenders and scores it. And that'll give Jones the hat trick for the day. A minute to go here as Somjack scoops it for North Greenville. They're looking for number 19. Looking over the right side, may get it here, they do. Right through the five hole. Owen Reihard, freshman from Cornwall, Connecticut. And that will be goal two for him on the season. First goal today for Reihard. And Lee's McCray gets a turnover, and it's immediately intercepted by Dylan Lloyd, and now we can finally end this game. At the final whistle, North Greenville takes it 19-9 over Lee's McCray.